everybody. I want to show you how we do uh, the Tesla Model. This is a Model X mirror here. We're actually doing two pieces and I'm going to show you how we seam on the back side. So it's a bulk installation and I'm going to kind of walk you through the methods that we use here. There are other ways of doing it. There's other ways of stretching it, but the way that we do it here, I'll explain in the next couple minutes. So I want to show you a bulk install with this Tesla mirror. Again, we're just covering uh, the front face. We're going to seam it on the back side in a second clip, but the method that I use, obviously the first thing you want to do is cut a piece that's the size, but not too big. Okay. And if you're doing stealth or any other thing, anything else like that, what you want to do is I do edge prep, um, the inside here, cause I want to cover the lip, but if this is clear film, what I do first is I tack it back here. I kind of get the film going the direction I want. I'm not really pulling, I'm kind of just separating and I'm tacking on the chrome here. Okay, so that's my anchor point. I am not tacking on the painted surface. So this is my initial pull. What I'm going to do, soak this piece up, lift it, and I'm going to get it past this ridge here with soap and have it stick on the back side. Again, sometimes this takes me a couple times to get the solution right. We did polish this mirror, so it's going to be a bit stickier. But again, I don't want this stuck at all to the paint. I just anchored it back there so it would hold. As you can see, I used some pretty warm water. Now, if this does give me a problem with a stretch mark or it sticks sooner than what I'll than I want, I will switch the solution up. I might I might add some gel. But again, my goal here is to stretch across the top and have it anchored back here on the back side and still not squeegee any surface area yet. This is just the pull. Sticking back here. I don't know if you can show that in the video. I'm tacking it back here. I couldn't get both of my hands to get this going the right direction. But the idea is that you don't have the fingers on this side. Too much and I just wanted a, a little bit beyond that ridge there because my seamed in piece is going to be on the back side. So the only issue I have here, come back around this side then, is the tension's nice here, it's just not quite where I want it here. And so again, I haven't squeegeed anything, you don't really want to touch this, but I do have to widen the film here and pull a little bit more. And again, if I have any dry spots, which I probably do, again, I don't think I have enough soap in this solution, but I'm going to hold, I'm going to release this from here, okay, and I have to pull more than it, more than where it was here just in case it did stick, and I do have adhesive, so I'm going to warm this up. I'm going to release, but I'm going to hold, I'm not going to let it, if I do let this go back, you're going to I'm going to have all kinds of stretch marks and, and glue marks and that sort of thing. So I'm going to lift up. Okay, lift up and spray. And I'm still holding with that tension. Now I can get this as far back as I need to. 
And again, if I have tension marks and whatnot, it would be over here. So let's just see if I have enough soap in this. And I can see that I'm beyond where I initially tacked. Okay, and so I've taken the tension away here and there. So that's what you want it to look like. Now again, I gotta make sure I got tack here. Hold, hold, hold. You want it to look like that initially before before you tack anywhere. Do I have one squeegee on my cart? And we we stretched over to this side, and again our goal was to stretch out the side so there's not tension over there, that everything's flat. That way we don't have fingers that want to shrink back on us. And again, like I said, this is the first, our first attempt at this mirror, so we're going to kind of take a look. That's a little bit of a dry spot. But so far, so far so good. You want it to start to curl around this backside with that stretch. If you don't pull far enough this way, you're never going to get the film to kind of just hang over this edge here. Like I said, if you're doing a stealth wrap, in this case we're doing a dyno prism, we're, we are going to seam it, but we're going to seam it on the back side. So my first initial piece so far, so I'm seeing that the film is, or the moisture is getting trapped in here. And that water's hot. Okay. And so what I'll do is, again, I'm going to just kind of let back, hold it, just so I can get to some of this moisture to release it. Okay, again, just be as flat as possible. So I'm going to pull in the direction up and down, or I should say in this direction to kind of fan that out and make it so that there's no... There's no finger. And again, like I said, I'm not, this is not a one piece. This is a two piece where I'm way beyond the ridge here. And so with this half of it, I kind of pulled in that direction. With this bottom part, I have some moisture that's stuck in here. And again, I think if I had gel with this, there wouldn't be the dry spots that I have. I'm just going to release this. So I can get some of this moisture out, but I am going to pull this direction down towards the front corner. Okay, but I've, as I release, the key not to get the, the tension in the stretch mark is to, I'm, I'm holding with the same tension that the film had, so I'm not letting it come back. And so with this... I'm pulling now down towards the front, having the fingers run the other way, okay, because I want a nice even line to cut across. And so where I'm going to cut is going to be right across that line, okay. And so yeah, up on this ridge here, a combination of some water, water spots, and I think it's adhesive too. So, again, we polished the front of this. There's a ton of bugs on it. But that is your main goal for the first part of this, is to get enough tension where you don't have the fingers all the way across here. It's nice and flat. It naturally wants to curl back. And honestly, if you can get that much done and seam on the back, if this, if this was a clear, um, this is just clear film for this car, that's all we would do is just straight across here. And I don't have any lift back. I mean, the, 
the film is pretty flat all the way here, a little bunched here, a little bit back here, but if I just cut right here across, the next part that we would do is lay in another piece, basically overlapping, and the trick is that you basically, we overlap it, I'll then trim basically right on top of um, this piece, and if the seam isn't perfect, I lift it back and I'll basically kind of seam it in, you know, I'll, I'll do another video of how I seam this in. So I'll cut this now, we'll stop, and I'll show you what that looks like. So we've trimmed on this edge, again, what I'm showing is how to seam this as, I guess, cleanly if, if, if you have to do this in, in stealth or any other film that you want to kind of do both coverages or complete coverage with on this mirror. The trick with seaming this in that I found that kind of helps me, again, there's other ways to do it, I'm sure, but the way that I do it is, this is kind of the trick, right? So this is the line that we're cutting on. This one that goes from here to here, okay? So, goal here, right, is that if this is a piece I'm going to cut, which I am, okay, I'm covered all the way in the bottom, I'm covered here, there's really no, there's really no stretch anywhere, okay, if I was to take this piece and just rip it all the way up here, okay, and then cut it, and then not have a good seam, well, I might take it off and then try and get it to fit back. The problem is it's not going to fit back in this shape because you stretched it up instead of just laying it in. So, again, for demonstration purposes, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to cut and show you what I'm talking about. So, always start with a nice sharp knife. And so that it doesn't move on you, we'll spray a little bit of tack in here. And again, my line is back here if you can't see. It's way back here. You can see a little bit of soap. Okay? And again, I did not stretch any of this. It's laying flat here, here, here. Again, I would edge prep this back side and kind of pull a little bit more back there. What I'm gonna do is do my best to follow the seam. And it becomes hard. This is the reason that, again, you can pull the mirror off and do this. Um, that may make it easier. But it does become very hard to see exactly where and what you're cutting. So, I did a little tail here. And I'll finish my cut in the air. So we're going to kind of, I'm trying to show the seam. So I just cut, right? And now let's say I'm not happy with some of the gap here because it wasn't the easiest position or, or I didn't cut. The reason you can do this and lift it up and then kind of put it back on that same line, which I'll show you now doing, using soap, 
So I'm going to use my soap and then I'm going to use a little bit of tack. And so this method I've, or this way of kind of doing this seam is something I've just recently started doing. But what you can do is I'm going to lift up. You know, I don't want to move too much from where I was, right, because it's going to change. And I can kind of lift up with enough soap and tack. This is where you kind of have to mix the right solution. And again, I'd probably pull the mirror cover off and do this so it's easier, but I'm just doing this on the car right here. But I'll show you now. I kind of will lift up and I'll kind of use this finger to kind of place it right on the other seam, right next to the other seam. And if it's sticking too much and not shifting on you, you need some more soap there. So this is a way you can kind of glide it, glide it and guide it, right? Right butt it up to the other seam. And again, the reason this works, and again, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be 100% perfect, but the way I can kind of push this film closer with soap helps minimize any gap that there was here. And the reason this works is because we didn't stretch the heck out of it from here to there because we would have a different shape if I released the whole thing. So that's one, one way to get this seam even tighter without overlapping it. And again, if you're not happy with where it fell out, or just picking it up and placing it closer here, kind of just pushing it right up to it. And then if I was doing this for real, I would be squeegeeing kind of into this, into this seam. And this is all about balancing the tack with your soap so that it still glides, but when you push it to where you want it, that it stays. So that's, that's a little bit of trial and error with your solution, but you know, this is how, let's say people that want to do full coverage can do it. And again, that's because we're shining lights all over this. But it's as, it's as seamless as, <laughs> as, you, as you can be here. And again, we're covered on the bottom, covered over here. But hopefully that helps with some people doing this. And like I said, some of these little dry spots I probably should have either put a little bit of wax here first um, or used gel in the solution, but it's a relatively clean install. This is our first take of this, so I didn't do this all day I'm trying to perfect it, but yeah, just some little spots here that are adhesive, I believe. But that's how I would seam this, guys, instead of trying to do two pieces. That way we make some people happy. So. Hey guys, so if there's any other videos you'd like to see us do, please um, message us, um, follow us on Instagram and uh, Facebook for, uh, for future videos and hope this helps you out in the future. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.